All right, I'm going to show really quick how to define contact pairs in CAE. Okay, so here's our model in CAE. Uh, let me just mention a couple of things. It's, it's pretty easy to do contact pairs. The hardest thing is just showing the um, surfaces so you can select this, you know, which surface you, you want to, okay? Um, so before we do that, let me just talk about what's going on here on the left side. You can see in this model, um, on this tree here, we have several models, actually seven of them. What most of those are, are the parts as imported in through um, hypermesh. So like, here's the injector mesh, there's the cap, so on and so forth. They are all assembled into one assembly called thermal model. That's where we're gonna do our work. If we open up that tree, you'll see that there's six parts. These are the parts in the assembly but there is also an assembly itself. And this assembly is where we're gonna operate because obviously the contact is between parts in the assembly. You'll see that there's six instances, and when I click on these instances, it selects the elements in that mesh. So this trick is gonna allow me to show or not show um, the components to select. So for example, here I've selected the injector. I can hide it by clicking this icon up here, remove selected. You can see now it's disappeared. I can return everything and then now they're all shown. Or if I select this one, replace selected, it'll just show the um, injector okay so I can do this in any operation so I can easily pick the surfaces okay so let's put everything back on here again I'm going to define a contact pair a contact pair is an interaction so I'm going to go to module I'm going to go to interaction so I can define a contact pair in interaction um, this icon here allows you to define or create an interaction uh, and this one allows you to see what inter what interactions have been defined. In this case, there's none, okay? So the first interaction I'm gonna do is gonna be between the thrust chamber and the injector, okay? So let's do that now, right? So we're gonna hit uh, create interaction, all right? Let's give it a name. This is really important so we can keep track of the uh, contact pairs in the assembly. So we'll call it thrust chamber to injector, All right? And make sure you select surface to surface contact. All right, the initial step is fine. And then we do continue. Now it's gonna ask you to select the master surface, all right? Now I'm gonna use the master surface as this top surface of the um, thrust chamber, okay? You can see actually, uh, selection is, is, let's go over how we select things in Abacus. Uh, you can select individually, and you can see I can pick one at a time. So I can pick like this one, and if I hit Shift, that'll allow me to add to it. And if I hit Control while I select, it removes the item that I've selected. Now obviously to do individually would be a little bit time consuming. Uh, so it also allows you to pick by angle. So this this here, you know, as long as two elements don't have an angle of 20 degrees or more between them, it'll consider it a face. So you can see now when I have it set to angle, if I go and I pick this face, it, it picks everything on there, okay? So that, that's pretty good. That looks like the master surface. You can create a surface if you want to, but usually I don't, uh, it's fine and then you hit done, all right? Okay, so now we've defined the master surface. Now we have to define the slave surface, okay? Now, the problem here is I can't easily select that bottom surface of the injector, right? It's a little bit hidden. So I am going to just show the injector, right? So I'm gonna click on injector, and then go up here and select replace selected, okay? So now the only thing shown is the injector. And that's good. I'm going to pick this back surface. So 
I'm in the operation of just showing that so I can actually cancel that. I'm canceling out not the selection of the master and slave surfaces, but canceling out the, you know, what am I showing operation. Okay, so I cancel out of that. Now you see I'm back to choose the slave type. So we're gonna pick a surface. Again, by angle's fine, so uh, I can pick, there it is. It's highlighting all that. All right, now you can see though, I don't really need these elements under the cap. Like these elements here will never be in contact. Uh, so I can actually deselect those by hitting Control and then using the left mouse button to drag a window. Oh, but first I have to, I'm sorry, I first have to change it to individual. Now I, I can, under individual, you can use a, a window to select. So if I hit Control and then draw a window, you can see it's going to unselect the elements that are in that window. That's not necessary to get all of them, but you, know, you can get most of them, and that will help speed up the contact calculation, right? All right, so that's not too bad. Let's get rid of this one. Uh, you know, whatever. Whatever. You, you can do better than that. So that, that looks reasonable. So then we hit done, okay? Now it, it brings up another window that allows you to def define the contact, okay? You, you don't have to really worry about this too much because I'll edit these later on, but you, know, you can use small sliding. You can use this contact property that's already defined and pretty much leave the defaults for everything else and then hit OK. And now we've created the contact. You can see it's these little yellow, little square things, OK? So let's just put everything back on. And here you go. You can see that you know, there are the contact pairs, all right? Now you might even want to eliminate some of these. These look like they're not necessary. And, and we can do that. We can go back and edit those. So let's do that now. I'm gonna go back and edit it and I'm gonna remove these regions here. Okay, so do that, we go back to the Interaction Manager. You can see now we have a contact defined. It's the thrust chamber to injector, okay? So we can hit Edit. And now what you'll see is uh, basically the interaction window. So you can change all these parameters here. You can see the ones we want to eliminate are the ones on this pink surface. That's the slave surface. So if I want to edit that, I can just click this little uh, arrow thing here. That'll allow me to edit the slave surface. Likewise, if I click this one, it'll allow me to edit the master surface. But let's edit the slave surface. Okay, so I want to unpick those. We'll pick slave for this. And again, it'll be individual. And so we hit control. And you can see we're eliminating those. Again, you can zoom in and do a better job of this if you want to. You can individually select them, rotate it so you get a better view of it, whatever. But I'm just doing this really quick just to show how it works, OK? And so now I'm happy with that selection, let's say. We can even let's get rid of some of these in here because they're not going to do anything. All right, so let's do that. And then I hit done. And now if I hit OK, everything else stays the same. And you can see those went away, OK? Those went away. Likewise, I could also go back. And I think they've got a couple extra up here on the master surface under these ears that I don't need. So I could also, for example, go back under here, collect, click on, oh, it's already open, uh, the interaction manager, edit, and now let's pick the master surface. So again, individually, control, and I'm gonna menu pick and get rid of these. Okay, so you see, now when I hit done, OK, you can see we've eliminated some of those elements on the master surface, so they will not be checked for contact, which is probably fine, OK? All right. Dismiss. OK, that's pretty much it. That's, that's how you define the contact pairs. You can see they show up with these little yellow things. So to then, you would move forward and define contact, say, between the 
um, injector and the cap, and you would do the same thing, right? You'd go through contact pair, uh, s select the master surface on, say, the injector, the slave surface on the cap, and then you can use the, the selection, you know, individual angle, and use the window and the control and the shift to only pick the elements that you want, okay? All right, so that's pretty much it.